greatest form of control is where you think you're free when you're being fundamentally manipulated and dictated to. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell but you can't see the bars and you think you're free. free. What the human race is suffering from is mass hypnosis. We are being hypnotized by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We are in a country and in a world that is being run by unbelievably sick people. The chasm between what we're told is going on and what is really going on is absolutely enormous. Charles Jacob, CNN, reporting live from Saudi Arabia. No, wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> In the time we've been in Saudi Arabia, I haven't seen any going to start by playing the national anthem, which was the sign-off on television stations across the nation back in the 1960s. Our national anthem. quickly you can barely see it but you aren't meant to physically literally see it you are meant to subconsciously see it it is meant to go into the subconscious and implant itself into your brain on a subconscious level and this continues throughout this entire national anthem scientists, uh, one scientist in particular that I cite who worked for General Electric, was able to do experiments on people watching television and he found that within 30 seconds to a minute of watching television, your brain goes from a beta wave state, which is an alert, awake, thinking state, with, which primarily uses the left side of your brain, which is where your critical thinking skills lie, to an alpha state which is more of a relaxed daydreaming type state where you essentially go on autopilot and you become a passive learner to the information that's coming into your mind. Okay? What they were able to figure out is that television is a form of basic mind control. When you are in an alpha wave state, you are suggestible to whatever's going into your mind, what you're seeing, at a subliminal level that you cannot critically analyze as you are viewing it. 
And one of this researcher's findings actually said that through this, there may be a time when the mass media can create special programs that help people modify attitudes and behaviors. It's creepy stuff. World Trade Center bombing, remember? During the trial, one of the bombers claimed the CIA had advanced knowledge. The diplomat who issued the terrorist visa was CIA. It's not unthinkable they paved the way for bombing purely to justify a budget increase. You're telling me that you're going to fake some terrorist thing just to get some money out of Congress? Well, unfortunately, Mr. Hennessy, I have no idea how to fake killing 4,000 people. So we're just going to have to do it for real. Oh, blame it on the Muslims, naturally. <laughs> then I get my funding. <laughs> And that's when I came across this one without realizing that I had taken it and it was on here and noticed that I had caught subliminal messaging on the phone. And how did you feel when you saw that? Um, I said this is the crap that my kids and I are watching every day. Yeah. And by chance I pushed the button mm. and of course I end up getting this photo which um, is a picture of the TV at my grandmother's house. Of course, we were watching the news now. It's huge TV, but the wording is probably a, a good portion of the size of my head anyways. And it's, it's written backwards. And what does it say? Kill. One form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell and you can see the bars and touch it. The other one is sitting in a prison cell but you can't see the bars you think you're free. What the human race is suffering from is mass...